Hey there, and welcome to Tesla Car World. In recent updates about Optimus, Elon mentioned that enabling the Optimus robot to perform tasks similar to humans is not easy and it will need at least one major upgrade and four additional upgrades to achieve the capability of handling a large number of human tasks. After these five updates, Tesla Bot Gen 3 is going to get launched. So what updates are going to come with a new version of Optimus? What changes will there be compared to Gen 2? Discover now. 1. Optimus Gen 3 New Hand Upgrade If you want to have a humanoid robot that can um, do things that a human can do, it's actually it's a, it's a very high bar. So our, our new arm has 22 degrees of freedom instead of 11. Recently, Elon has continuously emphasized that the new hand for Optimus will be the most crucial update to persuade customers to buy Optimus. This means it must be truly impressive, capable of performing as many tasks as a human hand can, aiming to handle not just 60, but 100 tasks that a human hand can manage. In the current version, you can see that this hand has already accomplished quite a range of tasks, from simple to complex, watering plants, holding eggs, handling slippery 4680 battery cells, and folding clothes with only two fingertips. And this is with a hand that has only 11 degrees of freedom. According to Musk, the 22 degree of freedom hand in the upcoming version will be designed to operate similarly to how a human hand functions. So you could say pick up a cup, pick up a shirt, Hold the shirt. Uh, th these, these things will generalize, I think, quite quickly. In the human body, most of the muscles that control the hand are located in the forearm. Your hand and fingers are controlled through the muscles in the forearm. The hand has some small muscles, and our hands resemble a skeletal framework with flesh and tendons. These tendons pass through the carpal tunnel to move your hand, enabling you to manipulate objects. Finally, similar to human tendons, Cables in Optimus need to be redesigned to perform similar tasks. Musk discussed these aspects in his conversation with Lex Friedman. So, what does 22 degrees of freedom for Optimus mean? Degrees of freedom is a concept in engineering that describes the number of ways a mechanical system can move. In the context of a humanoid robot hand, degrees of freedom represent the independent movements that each finger or part of the hand can perform. A robot hand with more degrees of freedom will have a greater ability to mimic and execute precise and intricate movements. Our next generation has 22 degrees of freedom. Um, it will be able to play the piano. So it's, it's really like, wow. The hands of all humans have 27 degrees of freedom, and we can perform any task from complex to simple, from carrying heavy objects to lighter ones. Of course, Optimus can only do about 60 tasks compared to the 100 tasks that our hands can manage, because humans have an incredible ability to coordinate between fingers and other parts of the body in those complex tasks. Although it's impossible to completely replicate the remarkable capabilities of the human hand, Optimus's hand with 22 degrees of freedom is getting closer to bridging this gap. This upgrade will enable Optimus to double or even triple the number of tasks that the robot can perform, and to do those tasks with greater precision. For example, if Optimus's current hand can hold an egg after the upgrade, it'll not only be able to peel the egg, but also make breakfast with a perfect sandwich. Furthermore, the time to arrange 4680 cells will be reduced to 5 seconds to less than 3, providing outstanding efficiency if Tesla deploys thousands of these robots in their factories. But Musk has also admitted that this upgrade could require a lot of effort from Tesla's engineering team. To improve the hand to achieve 22 degrees of freedom, it could take up half of the technical work on Optimus from a mechanics perspective. Musk emphasized that Optimus's hand will account for about half the technical work. Since much of human intelligence involves what we do with our hands, Optimus will also need better hands if the Gen 3 model's coming up. For any humanoid robot, not just Optimus, the hands are considered the soul of these walking machines. That's right, interacting with the world, handling objects in the world, and doing so safely. When you start to really think about your hands and how they do work, you'll realize that all our senses and controls are connected to our hands. However, to enable Optimus Gen 3 to have a more impressive hand compared to current Gen 2, Musk acknowledges these challenges. To achieve this, Tesla's team has placed actuators primarily in the robot's forearm with all these actuators designed from scratch based on fundamental physics principles. The sensors on the hand are also designed from scratch. Musk mentioned that Tesla will continue to invest significant technical effort to improve the hand, meaning the entire forearm from the elbow down. This requires extremely complex engineering, but it will certainly come in time. 
The goal is to develop a hand that can play the piano, thread a needle, or cook some dishes, as Elon talked about. Now, let's move on to the second update, which is just as important as the hand. 2. Optimus Gen 3 New Design Upgrade A new version, of course, must come with a new design. As Musk mentioned on his Platform X, the new Optimus design, which will be complete later this year, is something special. We can't predict exactly how special it'll be, as no one knows for sure how Tesla and Elon will redesign Optimus Gen 3. However, we can confidently say that the new version of Optimus will be significantly more refined than Gen 2. This means it'll be more attractive, more durable, and made with new materials that'll allow Optimus to weigh less than 138 pounds or 62.6 kilograms. Obviously, from a 2022 Bumblebee prototype covered in a bunch of metal, unsightly wires to a Gen 1 that still looks heavier with metal plates on the chest and a head that's still half missing, it looks quite scary. And although there is an improvement, no one's going to buy it if Tesla intends to stop at a design like this. Gen 2 Optimus is the most brilliant fireworks in 2023 when Tesla suddenly launches a version that we can confidently say is a thousand times more beautiful than the first one. Even saying it has the most beautiful design on the market is tough to argue. From a humanoid robot with almost no plastic covering except for on its head, Optimus Gen 2 has emerged with 70% plastic, exposing only a few metal parts, making it look much more polished and streamlined. Tesla's never disappointed customers with the design of its products, from EVs to Optimus, so Gen 3 robot will definitely have a ton for us to look forward to. For example, more LED lights, a display on the face allowing Optimus to show icons like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, or your battery status, and it also shows the progress of tasks being performed through the screen. Finally, there will be a reduction in metal content, especially aluminum alloys, replacing them with carbon fiber or polycarbonate. These materials are extremely light, durable, and scratch-resistant, which is important as Optimus encounters complex environments with machinery and sharp objects. What design features are you hoping to see in the Gen 3 Optimus? Drop us a comment below. Now, let's get into the third update. 3. Optimus Gen 3 Movement Speed Upgrade Optimus moves kind of like Joe Biden, or the way Optimus moves is like it just finished a leg day workout, and that's still something people often comment on when we talk about its walking speed and posture. If you pay attention to the gait of humanoid robots from Boston Dynamics, Unitree, or Kepler's Forerunner, you'll see they have a slightly bent knee gait, similar to Tesla's Optimus. In fact, this design is not accidental, but due to technical requirements. When robots are in a bent knee position, their center of gravity is lowered, which increases stability and makes it easier to maintain balance while moving. A lower center of gravity allows the robot to quickly adjust its posture when facing sudden changes in position or when moving on rough terrain. Notably, Tesla Optimus uses a crouched posture not only to maintain stability, but also to save energy while moving. By keeping the knee joints slightly bent, the robot reduces the torque required by the motors, which leads to more efficient energy consumption. Therefore, instead of criticizing Optimus's walking style, we need to focus on its still limited speed and performance, which is not yet fully stable. If someone were to ask us whether Optimus is currently among the slowest moving humanoid robots, the answer would definitely be yes. With a speed of just 0.6 meters a second or 1.34 miles an hour, this is a big barrier that leads to much criticism of Optimus. In videos showing Optimus' movement, the Tesla robot takes 132 steps in 78 seconds, averaging 1.67 steps a second with a stride length of slightly over a foot. Compared to competitors who reach speeds of 2 meters a second, Optimus still has a performance gap. A slower movement speed could impact its competitiveness, especially since most buyers, including us, prioritize a robot with agile movement. This not only reflects the efficiency of the joints and drivetrain, but also shows the coordination between the sensors and the battery. You might not have heard this, but from Optimus Gen 1 to Gen 2, Tesla's increased the movement speed by 30%. Even cooler, after the Gen 2 launch, a silent update was rolled out that added another 30% increase in speed, as confirmed by Milan Kovac, the Tesla Optimus engineer. This means Tesla's engineers have increased the robot speed by at least 60% since the release of the first prototype. However, this improvement still seems insufficient to close the gap between the competition. Therefore, upcoming Gen 3 will be a turning point for Optimus to overcome the criticism of its speed, as Elon talked about. And I think we've got kind of like one major hardware revision, which should be done by end of this year. You might not have realized this, but upgrading hardware is crucial for significantly improving Optimus's movement speed. The hardware of the Tesla bot includes the frame, actuators, joint sensors, and batteries. 
These components are not only the foundation of the system, but also directly influence movement performance. To put it simply, when Tesla upgraded the motors to more powerful and lighter versions, Tesla's robot was able to move faster and smoother, providing superior performance compared to before. Lighter yet sturdier joints also contribute to more decisive steps. Not only Elon, but Milan Kovac has hinted that Optimus's speed will continue to get better, offering even more agile movement in a post on X. But what's even more noteworthy is that Optimus has not only increased its speed, but also been upgraded to handle a variety of challenging terrains. This means Optimus is not just versatile in Tesla's large factories, but can also navigate tight spaces like homes, staircases, and streets with finesse. Despite undergoing many significant changes, the development team ensures that Optimus maintains its human-like qualities, which is a key reason why we value the talent and experience of the Tesla team. So, what speed can it be after the upgrade? Tesla might not immediately achieve a top speed of 4 to 5 miles an hour, but the speed's gradually going to go up from 0.6 meters a second to 1.5 meters a second, and eventually to 2 or 3 meters a second. That's still clearly a long way to go before Optimus can get commercialized. If Tesla hits a 30% growth rate over the next 90 days and continues this process through the end of the year, Optimus's upgrade speed could increase to three or four times compared to the initial growth. This indicates a huge potential for improving Optimus's speed, with a final goal of nailing five miles an hour. Maintaining this development momentum is not only a major step forward, but also opens up major opportunities for Optimus to reach new levels of performance. 4. Tesla Optimus Gen 3 Voice and Language Upgrade Elon has confirmed that an upcoming update will add this feature to Optimus, a capability currently not available, paving the way for the global popularity of the Optimus robot in the future. Yes, you could communicate with Optimus. Uh, yep, absolutely. As long as you got 20 grand or more, it doesn't matter which continent or country you're in, you can own an Optimus. Tesla's gearing up for a major leap in commercializing the Optimus robot globally. A clear sign of this is that Elon brought Optimus Gen 2 to a conference in China to showcase its advanced features and share the latest breakthroughs in robotics and AI. Clearly, this is a promotional push ahead of Optimus's release in the upcoming years. But what if an Asian customer buys Optimus and it only speaks English? Clearly, it needs to meet the needs of the international market. Optimus will need to be equipped with multiple languages, ranging from Asian to European and, of course, American languages. Yeah, you'll be able to customize the personality, customize the voice, um, and, and really kind of the robot will kind of get to know you as well and know your preferences. You won't even have to say things because it'll just kind of understand you. We believe equipping Optimus with communication capabilities is not too big a challenge for a company like Tesla, since Elon already's got Grok. Making Optimus able to converse like a human would only be possible through Tesla adding a microphone and speaker inside Optimus's empty head. After adding the communication support device, the robot records and listens to the voice from the surrounding environment. Natural language processing technology combined with deep learning models available in Optimus will allow it to analyze, understand, and effectively respond in a natural language. It'll work like Apple's Siri, but the advantage of TeslaBot is that it can both speak and have actual body language like a real person. According to Elon, owners will be able to adjust Optimus's language and communication speed to fit specific contexts. Not only will this expand the language capabilities, but Elon also mentioned that we could personalize Optimus to reflect the user's personality, habits, and behaviors, turning it into a useful assistant tailored to individual needs. What do you think about adding a voice and language capability to the Optimus robot? Without further ado, let's get into the final upgrade. 5. Tesla Optimus Gen 3 AI Upgrade what would you think if Optimus, a super intelligent robot, became your home doctor? While making this episode, we couldn't help but imagine a near future where Optimus could monitor your emotional state and proactively contact your family and friends if it detects signs of depression, sadness, or anger, as well as serious mental conditions like a stroke. Moreover, Optimus could also alert you to the risks of high blood pressure or abnormal heart rates, providing proactive and timely health care. For example, if a contagious pandemic like COVID-19 were to happen again, Optimus's role would be even more apparent, as it wouldn't be subject to quarantine. It can watch a video of something like a person and, and then learn just by looking at that video and, and do that task. At a 2024 Tesla shareholder meeting, Elon announced that by the end of 2026, Optimus robots will be equipped to perform a wide range of tasks, including things that Optimus has never done before. 
To achieve this, TESS will focus significantly on developing Optimus's autonomous learning capabilities this year. Through its video in, controls out neural network, Optimus ingests video data, processes it, and autonomously determines its actions. It's a realm where seeing directly translates into doing. It's not just about machinery. Tesla employs a comprehensive end-to-end -end neural network that spans from data ingestion to decision-making, all driven by real-world AI. We know that Optimus is uniquely integrated with full self-driving software found in Tesla's electric vehicles, and FSD continuously improves in accuracy. Therefore, Optimus Gen 3 is expected to reach the pinnacle of FSD in neural networking. Also, according to Milan Kovac on X about what the Tesla team's doing with Optimus' software system, he said, They are focusing on repeatability across the fleet, training the neural net to deal with dynamic calibration and small bot-to-bot -bot variants. Ultimately, we'll see a lot of crazy AI-powered things between now and when it's officially available for sale or lease. These are the five upcoming updates for Optimus Gen 3 version that Elon Musk and the Tesla team have announced recently. It's worth looking forward to, right? So, what do you think about these five updates? And do you think Tesla will actually be able to keep up with the timeline for Gen 3 version by the end of this year? Let us know down there in the comments what you think. Thanks so much for watching. We hope to see you back here in the next episode. Take care, stay safe, and God bless. Bye.